morning, everybody. This is Chatty Dad One with you today. How's everybody doing? Well, I hope. Um, <clears throat> today I was listening to John Moore's show, and he started out his show with saying that he has a source that is a trusted source that's in the military who told him that his commanding officer, either a colonel or brigadier general, told his men that they needed to get their money out of the banks before October 1st. And when this soldier asked why, he said, because there's going to be a nuclear bomb go off in North America. Now, take this for what it's worth. How would he know that this is going to happen? The only uh, way he could know is through, you know, intelligence, stuff like that. And if they know, that they, that can prevent it, unless it's a planned thing. Now, I've made several videos stating that uh, they're gearing up for something. We know it. So, like I say, um, Brigadier General told his guys to have their money out of the bank before October 1st because there was going to be a nuclear bomb detonated in North America. I don't know whether this is true or whether this is false. I just want to let everyone know. There's been times that people have reported things on John Moore's show before that have not come to pass. There's been some things that's been reported that have happened. And, uh, you know, what you really need to do is just get right with yourself. Get right with your higher power or whatever you believe to be your source of wellness um, and stuff like that. You know, your source of spirituality and, and peace. Because we don't know what's going to happen today or tomorrow. There's man-made disasters that happen all the time. Caused by man. I mean, you got Fukushima. It's just one of them. The BP oil spill. That's a, they're both continuing disasters. Um, some of these storms, just the list goes on and on about the number of things that mankind has wrought upon itself. So, you know, prepare. Prepare, prepare prepare. Get yourself what you need to prepare. Do all you can. That's all we can do is do our best. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the worst thing to uh, happen is to survive through this stuff, to have to go through this stuff. I mean, it's going to be hard, whatever natural disaster or man-made disaster hits. It's hard going through that stuff. It's hard living through that stuff. But life goes on. Life continues on. We know that they need a false flag attack to happen. 
we know this. Uh, Lindsey Graham has, has basically said, if we don't attack Syria, they're going to set off a nuke, blah, blah, blah. You know, so who knows? Who knows? Just do the best you can and prepare the best you can. Because living through this is not going to be fun. But humans have endured many things throughout history. And perseverance and the ability to survive is one of man's strong points. And, you know, we're probably at the point where something needs to happen to get back to square one. I believe what we need to do is get rid of all these friggin' laws and stuff and go back to 1776. Go back to square one. Go back to the beginning. Eliminate everything else that's not absolutely necessary. Let's go back to square one. Maybe we can get it right this time. But before we go there, we're going to have to go through some serious stuff. That's what I believe, personally. I don't believe that there's going to be a rapture. The scriptures tells us that that's not going to happen until after the thousand year reign of Jesus Christ. The thousand year reign when Satan is put into the pit and man will live without war, without suffering, without a lot of the stuff that goes on. Satan will not be around to tempt us for a thousand years. Then he will be loosed for a season before the final judgment day. Then the scripture says that the Lord will meet those in the air before the earth is burned and cleansed with fire before the great final judgment day. <clears throat> so, that's that's what I take the scriptures to mean. I mean, that's what I read in it. Um, I hope, I, I wish that the rapture thing was true. But from what I understand, it's not. It's a fabrication. It's a, something that some preacher um, profited on. They sure do. They profit on this stuff. But people, we need to uh, just be ready, you know? Because who knows what tomorrow brings. If you want to get your money out of the bank, get your money out of the bank. I would suggest if you're going to do anything, go ahead and do it before October. You know? I intend on having me some cash on hand, that's for sure. <laughs> I try not to keep money in the bank anyhow. I try working with cash alone. Because I don't bounce checks and nothing, crap don't happen like that. The bank don't get to charge me for nothing. But that's just me. So... Oh, check this out. The <laughs> Red Crescent. Wow. So, you know, do your research. Um, have some serious prayer and quiet time. And do what you feel inspired to do. 
do what you feel is right. You can't go wrong when you do what you feel is right. Even if it doesn't happen, you're still going to have your money. You're still going to have all the stuff you need to go camping one day or to uh, have some extra food on hand just in case you lose your job and, and don't get paid for a month or, you know, stuff happens. Disasters happen. Um, you know, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes happen where you can use this stuff. So what have you got to lose? Nothing. You're going to have stuff that is valuable and usable. Now, I'm not fully prepared for major stuff to go down, but I am prepared some, as much as I can be right now, and that's okay. I know that I've done my best, so it's it's no big deal. But, uh, yeah, survive. Live through this thing if you can. You know, because I don't think... The majority of us, the majority, majority of us want to live. We don't want to die, and we especially don't want our families to suffer or die. That, to me, would be the worst thing: is to have to watch a family member suffer, or die, or be tortured, or something like that. That that's the hardest thing I could imagine going through. I'd much rather go through it myself than to watch a loved one um, go through hard times but uh, anyway you know take this for what it's worth y'all you know, listen to the John Moore show I'll put the link below about the show hopefully this stuff won't happen Hopefully one won't be dealing with a mushroom cloud anywhere. Because if that happens, we will be dealing with this. There's also been reports from uh, military that there are truckloads of brand new, spanking brand new martial law has been in effect signs that are being transported. I mean, there's a lot of things happening. You guys know that there's a lot of, lots of stuff going on. Anyway, I've rambled on enough for now. I just wanted to get this out and, you know, just let everybody know what I heard. And the source is a trusted source. Go listen to the show yourself. Go check it out. Oh my gosh, that guy's peeing on him. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I don't think I'd do that. I wouldn't want the cops to see my wang. <laughs> I could take a friggin' tase him right in the, right in the old wazoo. <laughs> anyway. I hope everybody's having a good day, and I hope you have a good day. And Pray about this. Talk about this with your family. And do all you can. It's all we can do. God bless. Good luck to us all. God help us all. Prepare as much as you can, while you can. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. And let's uh, do all we can to make this world a better place for our children. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.